wondering if you could say something about your attitude towards John Ruskin. It was um, surprising. Where are you? Where are you? Right, right here. I can't, I can't see it. Oh, thank you. Um, a distinguished French film critic, whom some of you probably know, uh, took great offence <laughs> at the, the portrait of Ruskin when we showed the film at Cannes because he thought it was an attack on critics in general. <laughs> and since we are in this uh, uh, um, august gathering, I'd like, to, I'd like to announce that that is not the case. That was not the intention. Um, you know, w we just um, started to think, look at Ruskin and his um, relationship with his parents, the way he was um, cosseted and protected and spoilt and... You know, he was a kind of prig. <laughs> and um, it just seemed natural to, you know, I mean, Turner, w was, was he not? Um, uh, and he was a great supporter of Turner, and although went through a, a, a negative patch. Um, but Turner kind of tolerated him and took the piss out of him a bit, didn't he, really? Um, yeah, I think Turner's relationship with, um, with Ruskin it is interesting because um, Ruskin really did, in a sense, is, was the person you know who made him, in a sense, the, mo the the distinguished artist, remembered as a distinguished artist in his life, and set the seeds for what we remember him as being this great um, poetic artist, as well as you know a genius uh, pictorial artist. The fact that he's a master of the sublime, and but I think Turner, uh, what anybody said, whether they were being nice about him or whether they were being horrible about him, he thought they should mind their own bloody business. Um, I think he had quite a sort of, you know, performers, writers, actors, directors, everybody who was involved in presenting things that have to be, uh, you know, out there for people to look at and enjoy loathe, love, criticize, or spit out, or whatever they want to do. I think always have this feeling that, um, that uh, they want the love, they want people to love it, but in a certain way, there's a private privateness about it. So, but Ruskin was the first modern critic of his time, in a sense, uh, where he became a, more or less a celebrity. And I think uh, without him, I don't, I think Turner really liked the fact that he made him put him up there, but he really felt like he should have just <laughs> minded his own business. It's odd. Apart from that, it just seemed a good idea to make uh, Ruskin into a comic character. <laughs> yeah. It's good for a laugh. You know. Mike, you're, you're funnier than critics say. Um, congratulations on a, on a wonderful film. Which critics um, don't think I'm funny. <laughs> Where are they? Come out. <laughs> Um, there's a, there, I love the scene where he ta he refuses to sell his paintings and talks about the importance of free public art galleries. Um, what do you and Tim hope that audiences take away from the film? It's a big question. It's a very difficult question to answer without being very obvious. I mean, it, it's um, apart from anything else. People might go away and look at Turner's paintings, but um, I, 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 it's too big a question to answer without being tautological, really. Can't hear you. One specific thing, like the importance of public Well, yes, it is. Of course, that's important. Yeah, but I'm sorry, I, I don't really. I find it's a hard question to answer.